Essentially the biggest couple of weeks of your career so far. So what prepares you for the kind of step up in scrutiny, the step up in pressure, the step up in expectation, I suppose, as well? Uh, I think it's just a, an exciting time. So I'm just, I'm not trying to overthink it. Uh, I just think, um, you know, it's, it's a thing you, you like I used to watch and now I'm playing and it's quite, it's proper cool. So um, and just prepare myself and train and just, do what I normally do, uh, prepare for any other game uh, and just try and get the best result. How do you keep those thoughts that you're three games away from the Premier League to the back of your mind now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, I've, well, no, I they're not at the back, they're at the front, but it's just pure excitement, to be honest. So, And and like, we're, we're close, so it's just like, hold on a minute, we can do it here. Yeah? So let's, 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 let's do our best and do it. Do you feel there's expectation because obviously you finished third, seven points ahead of Luton and also you look at the momentum that you had towards the end of the season as well? Uh, we're not putting too much pressure on ourselves. Um, I think uh, I think that's one thing we're not doing and I think it's just a lot of posit positivity in the, in the dressing room. So I think like everyone's kind of like knows we got a chance here and knows that we can definitely get promoted. Um of course, that's the aim. And so if we start off with a win tomorrow, it'd be perfect. Obviously, good memories of facing them. You scored the first and the 2-0 win not so long ago now as well. Do you draw on that individually? Do you draw on that as a, as a collective as well? Yeah. Uh, so I think when you've when you, when you beaten a team before, you know you can beat them again. Um, but also, you know they're going to come back hard to, to try and get revenge. So... Um, we just we're just keeping in our minds that, and I think uh, uh, we just keep doing what we're doing. Um, we do the same um, as we did last time. We'll, we'll get a good result. I make that goal against Luton the first time in your career when you've scored at first team level, and it's not been the winner. You scored in your second game for Accrington, the winner against Rochdale. Four games after that, you got the winner at Northampton, and of course, your first goal for Huddersfield was the winner against Cardiff as well. Yeah. Obviously, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually noticed that, you know. Yeah, I, 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 was, I was thinking why it felt a bit different. It went winning goal. Um, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah, happy, always happy to get a goal, no matter what how what what position is. Yeah, it's great. The point I'm making, I suppose, is have you dreamt about getting the winner in a playoff semi final? Have you dreamt about getting the winner in a playoff final? Well, yeah, that's always a thought. That's always a, I always I always think about. It. I always want to get that, but I. I mean, a goal is a goal, no matter what what time or what um how, how important it is. So every goal is important. Just trying to get one. Obviously, it was nil nil down there in, in the league as well, wasn't it? So I mean, that would be a decent result first leg, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be great. It'd be great for us. It'll be a massive confidence boost. Uh, maybe take some weight off our shoulders as well. Uh, so uh, a, a good result against Luton away be, it would be great. Well, how do you approach it though? Because you obviously don't go out to draw. I take it the intention is to go there and at least go for the win. Yeah, definitely go for the win. But we know at that place it's very hard. They don't lose a lot of games at, at their place, so we always have that in our mind. And I think um, it's not going to be an easy one. We know it's not going to be easy at all. But if we come, if we come out with a win, it'll just be it'll just be it'll be massive for us. Finally, John, as well. I just wonder what drive is your time at Chelsea, given you've been around that kind of Premier League environment. What drive has that given you to, to make it back to the Premier League as soon as possible? Yeah, um, I think I've got a, like not a taster, but I know what I can. I know what it's like. So it's and I've I've been brought up from that since I was six. So the the target is definitely go back to it, and it's not like this is new for me if I go back. So. Um, the aim is definitely to go get back to the Prem and 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 start from there. Is there also a feeling of a point to prove still as well? I think just for myself, to be honest, I think I know I can do it. So um, for myself, I, I've set targets for myself to, to try to achieve it. And I've got the confidence to do it. So um, hopefully I, I, I get there. I'm interested to know how you found Luton as an opponent on the field. They've earned their place in the playoffs just as much as Huddersfield Town have. What are they like on the field? The football style is a bit different, very different. Um, long, uh, long ball, second balls. Uh, it's more league. It's more like League One when I was at Aki, to be honest. Um, so 
it's not new to me that um, kind of you, I was used to that for a whole season. I, 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 so that was what we did pretty much. Um, so that's what they're all about. And then we got we we'll, we play more. So I think when we get the ball, we might have to just go long more, um, cause more tr uh, trouble in their defence. That's going to test your patience, John. We like seeing you with the ball at your feet. Um, but it might be that players like yourself have to adapt style just to make sure you get yeah. the job done. Yeah, that's it. I think uh, it's going to be a different game to to like a uh, like last week Bristol. But I think we can do it. We can. Uh, we've adapted to many games, um, even when it doesn't suit us. Uh, even against Luton last time, um, and their long balls. So I just think uh, we 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 are, us and our players definitely definitely can adapt to it. I'll say this, John. I think Luton Town probably was most supporters' preferred opponent for the playoff semi-final. Would that apply to the players as well? What do you mean by that, sorry? Well, um, they're perceived as an easier opponent to get past in order yeah. to get to Wembley. Yeah. Uh, we didn't really look at who we wanted to have, to be honest, because I think the playoffs, um, a lot of the players, like when it comes to playoffs, it's completely different. It's not like a normal league game. So it didn't really matter to us what who who we got, um, and like I said, like if we just go out and just do what we we normally do, um, we're just going to get the result we, we we deserve. Can I just take you back to the end of the game at home to Bristol City last week uh, when the final whistle went? You couldn't move for players, partners, and kids and families on the pitch. It was a particularly uh, emotional scene, although it's common practice to do that at the end of your home game. Uh, my perception was that I've never seen such a sense of togetherness uh, about the Huddersfield Town squad. Uh, and I'm interested in a, your perception and, and how you think that will work as a platform to take you into this phase of the season. Yeah, no, I love that. I, I absolutely love that. I think like even off the pitch, we do always do stuff together. And um, I think that definitely brings us, like you said, all together and like a, like a family kind of thing. Um, and especially like, it is normal to do, but I feel like uh, everyone's got like such a connection with each other that helps us on the pitch. So I absolutely love it. And if you thought that was emotional, how do you perceive the home leg against Luton Town? Can you imagine the anticipation that's going to be whatever happens on Friday at Luton? Monday night is is going to have a set stage already for 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 the next phase and and for the job to be completed in front of the home fans. Yeah, exactly. I feel like our fans are like incredible as well. Um, so I know that they're going to have our backs no matter what and I think their encouragement that like, helps us massively so like always on a big stage and uh, at home as well it's, it's, it's a definite plus and it's going to help us a lot Good luck on Friday night You talked about that goal against Luton last time have you scored many better than that one? Talk us through it I haven't you know that's probably, my, that's probably the, the best that's probably my favourite and best goal there I just saw that pretty much I just, from the throw in, I just saw the space in the middle and I thought like, if I just get this high enough, because the keeper's too far in front, he's not going to get there. So I thought, you know what, just, just, just not hit and hope, but uh, get it, get it over him and I'll be all right. I think it's, I think it sort of showed something Carlos has talked about. One of your great um, qualities is your ability to sort of stay calm on the ball and, and always find that extra bit of, mental time on the ball is that something that's always been part of your game or is that something you've had to sort of consciously develop yeah no that has been pretty much me my whole career I used to be called um they used to think they used to get confused with laziness and and calmness that's just so um that's been me my whole career and I've like developed it and um turned it on and off as well um it's been other things I've had to uh, learn as well because I can't just be calm all the time. I've, had to, I've got to be a bit erratic sometimes. So, um, yeah, so I've learned, yeah. It must be nice to come into a setup though, where that quality is is really highly valued on the ball. Yeah, no, it's great. It's, 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 it's great. Like, um, that quality like that can help the team, which is, which is um, what I'm always looking to do, like help the team with what, what can I do to help and and the calmness helps massively you mentioned there like you're still learning still a young player learning your trade are there there's a few older heads in the squad are they helping you out and giving you advice Who, who's helping you with that 
Yeah, all the time, like Hoggy always talks to me. He says like, you know, keep us, just keep the standards high. Like, um, everyone's like, um, uh, when we play, like, oh, it goes through you. Just get it out and switch it. Um, they all encourage me to get on the ball, and um, as as a as a player, that that helps massively. Likes of Hoggy who have been through these playoffs before, are they particularly driving things on the training ground this week going into playoffs, or is it genuinely just business as usual? Yeah, no, they're keeping it calm. They're not keeping it so like, uh, like uh, everyone's panicking. Now they keep Hoggy's keeping it calm, keeping it cool and collective, which is which is really helpful. Um, we know it's big, so we don't need a, like a someone going and making it even more like nerve wracking for us. Um, we don't need that. So like they're keeping it calm. That they've they've Hoggy's been through it, so he knows the deal. Um, we trust in him, so that's what we look look up to. Don't often hear Hoggy and Khan in the same sentence together. <laughs> uh, but um, I mean, you, you you talk about the the fans and the support you get. They are you are hugely popular with them. Is that something that you've felt since you've come into the first team? Yeah, yeah, I have felt that um, a lot. To be honest, um, a lot of people have said it as well. And I, I just even when they like make up a song, like it's just like it gives me like massive confidence as well. It's always nice to have fans on your like supporting you. So, like it's 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 great. Like it probably helps me a lot. I was just sort of um wondering, do you have to sort of pinch yourself a little bit? Because I sort of this time last year you just finished your time at at, at Accrington and maybe you didn't know which way your career was gonna go. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I didn't know what I didn't know what I was gonna do. Um it was a difficult time. And now like being in this position now, it's like yeah, it's, 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 it, I didn't need to pinch myself. Like, um, it is, it's a massive like jump from where I was before. Um, so it's it's proper. It's a it's a it's a good position right now. Very good. Because did you think you were? Did you sort of know you were gonna gonna be leaving Chelsea at the end of the of last season? Yeah, yeah it- I, I knew, but I didn't know where I was gonna go after. So coming here and then being in this position now is uh, is is like incredible. How did it come up then, Huddersfield? What what was the sort of story there? It's kind of just my agent, really. I think he he knew the uh, one of the uh, staff kind of things here, and he said, um, like Huddersfield like you, they got a good setup. And then I came to like I like, uh, came to see the club and, and have a meeting, and and then um, it was like uh, we start off with the B team and try and progress to the first team. Um, um, they showed like examples on players that have done it before. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, I just decided to to, to to take that journey. Do you see sort of similar similarities sort of in in playing style? You were at Accrington. They were very high pressing, a very good football team, and they they turned over a lot of you know big clubs at League One last season and did well. Did that sort of aid in help you coming coming to Huddersfield? Because there's the similarities in, in how they play and, and things like that. I think. Um, I just think the level was similar. I don't think the way they play it, when we were at, at, like away from, from home at Accrington, we would play quite good football. We wouldn't really go long that much, but when it came to home games, we would always play long. Um, so I think like it was, a, it was a mixture of how we played at Accrington. So I think here is more like Chelsea at a higher level with bigger players, stronger players, um, like physical players. So I think it's more Chelsea than Accrington. Yeah, because you nearly got in. You weren't far away from the playoffs last, uh, last year, there, were you? And you've yeah, we, we, you, yeah, you, yeah. And what's what's the, the, 2022 must have been a dream for you, really, because you sort of made your debut. You got the winners against you know Cardiff and Luton. Have you any any highlights? Anything that stands out so far? I think every moment to be honest stands out. Uh, I don't think there's one moment to be honest, but I feel like my whole the whole um, the whole time at, at Huds has been like it stood out for me like in my career uh, through the B team then to the, the the first team and like helping the team yeah. um, get to the position it, it is now I think that's always been a massive highlight for me and you f- just finally do you feel an adopted Yorkshireman yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a few more years <laughs> a few more years <laughs> 
Uh, just something that you that you mentioned with Stephen there about your sort of composure and, and that kind of thing. How do you think that's going to match up in in a playoff game that you know historically the playoffs are so chaotic sometimes? Yeah, um, I think I've got to manage it as well. I don't think I can. Um, I think because everyone's going to be like pumped up, like a calmness will be great for I guess for everyone. Like. Um, I think there's got to be a way I've got to, um, I've got to do something, even, even if I don't, but I just feel like with my calmness is, is going to help with everyone being like, okay, let's, let's chill out. If everyone's like being erratic and maybe getting yellow cards, um, you could use me as like a, uh, let's, let's, let's calm down a bit um, and just do what we, we normally do, keeping a ball um, and, how, and playing how we normally play. And you, and you mentioned that obviously that's that's your game. How hard is it to to keep that composure in games that are often 100 mile an hour? Yeah, no, nah, it, it's hard, but um, like I adapt to like um, not being too, it's like I'll be a different way. I'll be a kind of calm. It might not be on the ball, it might be like um, like winning like a, a tackle, which will like calm everyone down a bit. I know like when someone's, one like a good tackle or like been very physical, it calms me down a bit. So like there's probably lots of ways that can help um, players and the team calm down. Yeah, and just finally from me, it's been a, a really good journey for Huddersfield, but also yourself this season. How proud are you with just how far you've come? Yeah. yeah to, to get to the position that you're in? Yeah. No, I'm, my missus, my wife tells me all the time like you should be so proud. Um, like to where you come and where you were before to where you come and I'm like yeah like I'm I'm proud but like, uh, like I'm not done yet so I've um, got nothing to be proud about kind of thing um, until I'm done that's when I'll that's when I'll be proud best of luck this weekend John thank you over to you Ara hi John just a, a couple from me uh, you talked about how Luton's sort of more direct and play this. So it'll sort of be a, a, a different style for you to play it with, but it'll be a busy one for you in, in, in defensively and attackingly, won't it? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be, yeah, it's got exactly that. It's going to be focused a lot on second balls, um, a lot of defence to attack. Um, it's going to be a lot of transitions, uh, this game, uh, that's what we feel. So we feel like it's going to be, have a lot of transitions. So we just got to, uh, we've got, like I said, we've got to adapt to it. We've got, uh, we've done it before. So um, we, we can, we can definitely do it again. You've talked a lot about adapting to situations and, and scenarios and stuff. And obviously playoffs are completely different to, to a standard league game. Yeah. Does that change, not exactly your mentality and stuff, but that, change your focus in, in the way you, you approach this game? Yeah, I feel like it'll, it'll, it'll change it a bit, but I don't think it'll change it too much to where we, we start panicking and start crumbling. I think it will just be in, a good, in good ways, to like good nerves, um, excitement, um, and all these things are going to help us to, uh, well, hopefully win. Yeah. And obviously in the league game, the standard sort of phrase, you look one game at a time, one game at a time, and you don't look at the table, but this is sort of, you've got two games to to get to a playoff final. So it's tempering that excitement and knowing that obviously there's still a big job to do. Yeah, because um, there's two games, like you said, and like, uh, we can't use all our, uh, all our stuff in one game and, and leave it for the next game. We've got, a, we got, a, we've got two games to focus on. We've got a, think smart about it um, because both games are, are very important. So we just got to be smart in how we approach these games. Yeah. Top man. Good luck. Thank you. Over to you, Jason. Morning, John. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Just a couple of quick questions. I just wondered if you could um, just go into a little bit more detail about your time at Chelsea and uh, some of the players who you came through the ranks with who we might know and how difficult it was to, to eventually leave. Or... Um. So I was my year was Callum Hudson Odoi, it was Tariq Lamptey, um, Billy Gilmore. He came later. I was with T and, and Callum for from that start. 
Um, so I had them players and it was very, Callum was always at the top. Um, and it was, it was very, uh, when it came to like 18s, under 18s, yeah, that's when it became hard because it was like, if you don't train well, you're likely not going to play. And so like, it was a very different, it was very like, it was difficult. Um, and so, but I enjoyed my time there. Like, I, 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 le- I learned a heck of a lot. That's where, obviously, how I, I've become the player I am now. Um, so, I had a lot of players now that are doing very well. Um, and so, when you come from Chelsea, there's a lot of players that go on loan and might not do well, but they might come back and do great as well. Um, and Callum and T have been good examples of, of what Chelsea can um, create as, as players. As you touched on earlier, it's not as though you've got a point to prove to them, it's more to yourself, but it would be nice to go back and play them as a, as a Premier League player, wouldn't it? So. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be a massive, massive dream. That's, that's the target for me, to get into the Prem. Um, I know I can do it, so hopefully, like, this players will be, could get me into it. Because is, is, that, is that your team as a fan as well, I assume? Or is it, do you support someone in terms of who you follow? Or how does it work? Well, because I've been there since I was six, I've pretty much supported them. But when I left, I probably... Um, <laughs> you gave up on them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, I just support anyone now, to be honest. 